What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to the channel. As I've shared with you guys recently, I have completed and passed my security guard course, something that I've been working on for the past three or four months, and I'm super, super happy. So today I decided to share everything that went into this course, why I decided to do this course, and at the end of this video, if I have enough time, I'm gonna be sharing my plans for the future. So as you guys know, I worked retail for five years. I do explain that in other videos. I recommend checking that out because I'm not going to really be focusing on that in this video. But I hated my job and I knew I wanted to get out. Basically, they were cutting my hours and it wasn't really worth me going in and putting in my time for what I was getting paid. So back whenever I was in high school, I did have the idea of becoming a security guard, but I never went through with it. I just stayed working my retail job until it finally came time that I wanted to do something else. I basically wanted a career. I didn't want to keep working retail because I honestly was not getting anywhere. So I started to search online, see different security guard companies, what companies are offering courses, what companies I should be going with. And I decided to go with the commissioners of Canada. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you are in the US, if you're in Canada, all security guard companies that offer the courses are pretty much the same thing. Sometimes the terms might be different in each course, but you're basically learning the same thing. I didn't realize that the nearest office was only 30 minutes away from me, so instead I decided to email the head guy, which at the time I didn't know was the head guy for the course, and his headquarters, the headquarter office, was in Kingston, which is about an hour and a half away from me. So I started emailing him, asking him questions about the course, and I kind of just went from there. At first, he wanted me to go 30 minutes to the nearest office to register and apply and get everything ready that way. But because I was working retail, I was working my crappy job, I wasn't at a set schedule. So I couldn't really plan a specific date and time to be able to go to the nearest office to be able to do this because my job, the hours I was given, they were all weird hours. And it never fit into the schedule of when I could go and apply at the office. So because he was so nice, he decided to register me online. One of the requirements needed to take this course is to have your first aid before you start the course, which is something I didn't have, but because he knew my circumstances, work my job, that I wasn't able to go to the nearest office to apply, that that would mean the same thing, that I wouldn't be able to go to the nearest first aid place to be able to take the course, to be able to get my certificates. So he decided to start me anyways, with the one exception that before he can actually send me my final exam, I have to get my first aid certificate. That is one requirement, not for him, but for the government to be able to complete this course you have to have your first aid. So that was the agreement we came up with. So the day that I quit my retail job is the day that he emailed me that I was accepted. Everything is ready. I could start right away. So I decided to start the following Monday. The day I started, I was really nervous. I didn't know really what to expect. It was an online course for my security guard, which I've never taken an online course before. I've always done in class. So I didn't know how I would handle it. I didn't know how I was going to set some time aside to be able to do the course. But it did and it worked out really good. The course that I took with the Canada Commissioners was about 10 sections and in each section there was about 10 to 15 lessons. Some of the sections were a little bit less but that is basically what I had to do. At the end of each unit you were required to do a practice test and you were required to pass it to be able to advance. You had three tries and if I didn't pass I would have to email him to have him reset it. But most of them I did pass my first attempt. You needed to get usually an 80 a 70 or 80% and I used to get always 80. So I was passing most of them on my first attempt. So I finally decided to try to get my first aid certificate. So whenever I applied, I kept getting declined for the nearest one to me. I don't know why it was doing that. I tried emailing them. I tried calling them. I couldn't get through to them. So I decided to choose the next one that was about 30 minutes in the opposite direction. And that's when I realized the next day they were having a class. So I signed up, paid for it. I went the next day. I was a little bit terrified. I didn't know what to expect, but whenever I went into my first aid, class it was honestly all common sense it was just to get a certificate to prove that you actually know what you are doing in a first aid scenario to me most of the stuff that I taught during the first aid class it was really common sense it was stuff I already knew I just needed a paper to state that I knew it so now that I got that out of the way I had everything else needed for the course finished completed all I had to do was sign up for a test so I emailed him letting him know everything was done what do I need to do now? So he emailed me back saying that I had to go for a free practice test to the nearest office. So I set up a time and date. I called them, set it up, and I went in for the test. Honestly, I was a little bit scared. I practiced for the entire day before, and I thought I was going to do really good, and I did. So whenever I went in, I wrote the practice test. The guy that was there that gave me the test, 
He didn't know anything about it. He didn't know what the head guy was doing for me, why I had to write a practice test, but we assumed if I passed the practice test, he was just gonna count that as my final exam for this course, and that's what he did. So I passed with a 72 or 73 for my course, and he used that for my final grade. So at the end of it, I passed the course with an 82 or 83% which to me is amazing. I didn't think I could get that high of mark, but to me this course had a lot of information. It was really relating a lot of it to me and it was just made a lot more sense to me. So I did a lot better than I thought I was going to do and I'm really happy for that, but that was how I did my course. The last step I needed before I could actually get into work was to pass a provincial test because here in Canada, it is provincial. You need to write a provincial license test to be able to get it. So the nearest place offering this test is over an hour away from me. And honestly, I didn't know how I was gonna make it in, but I set it up anyways. It was for two weeks later and I went in and whenever I started my test, honestly, I was terrified. I was scared. I didn't know what was going on. I didn't really know what to think. During my provincial test, there was about five questions out of the 60 that were not in this course whatsoever. Most of them were common sense, however, simple stuff, but there is always two answers that could be. So if you think one way, one answer could be, and if you think the other way, the other answer could be right. So since they were saying that only one answer on this test was right, that's what started to freak me out the most. Also, some of the other questions that I got taught during the course, some of the questions were asking weird things and the answers, again, one thing could be right or another thing could be right. Technically, both answers are right, but I basically, for a lot of the tests, I just had to guess and think which one, in my opinion, was most right. I got out of the test about 10 after eight that night. I got home really late. I think it was around midnight. I didn't check my email till about two in the morning whenever I actually went to bed. And I got three or four emails to tell me the results were in. So I got an email at nine. I got out of the exam at 10 after eight. By nine o'clock, they already had it entered. So 50 minutes after I wrote the test, my results were in the system. So I got an email at nine o'clock, at 12 o'clock, at three in the morning. And also whenever I got up the next day, they sent me another one at six in the morning. So I got my results, I checked. At first I thought I needed to get a 75% to pass this test. I passed it with a 77, but I only needed to get a 66. So I applied for my license and as of right now, it should be here this week. It takes two weeks to get the digital copy and it takes eight weeks to get the actual physical copy of your license. So this week I should be getting my actual digital copy. And then with that, I can be sharing that with my employers. I can put it right on my phone. So I'm gonna have my license with me at all times. That means I can finally remake my resumes, start putting them out, applying for work and hopefully land a job really soon. Hopefully something that's really close to me. I do plan on getting a vehicle soon just so I can go farther if need be. But as of right now, I don't have a vehicle. So I hope something Something local does hire me within about 30 minutes away from me because that's all I can really do at the time and the best part of me choosing the commissioners to be doing this course is because you can go on their website you can apply for work to the nearest town to you and they can actually do it that way so most of the time with any jobs you guys know with college and that to be able to apply for work and get hired you need experience the commissioner's website, you don't need experience. You can just apply on there and they will find work for you within the area. So that is what I plan on doing. I'm super excited. The reason I decided to share all this with you is whenever I first started looking into this course, I knew nobody that was taking it. Everybody in my area has taken it either 10, 15, or even 20 years ago. So it's not the same way as they do back then. Back then was all in class and right now you can do it online. So nobody could really tell me what I was actually getting into. So I decided to share everything with you today. What to expect while you're taking this course, what I went through. Honestly, this course is so easy in my opinion. Anybody can do it, even if you're not good with computers, even if you're not good with taking courses or anything like that. It's so simple, it doesn't require too much time, but you do have to put in the effort regardless. So I hope this has helped even one person become confident going into this course. That would be something that would make me super proud if I can just make one person confident before getting in this course. I know I didn't share too much of what you need to do for this course. I just shared the requirements, what I've done, the tests, everything that Dennis, Dennis was the guy that set this up for me. So everything that Dennis did for me, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This video as of right now is a little bit too long to share my future plans. So I do apologize if you were expecting me to share my future plans, but I will be sharing that in another video, hopefully very soon. I will keep you guys updated. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all your support while I was taking this course, because I did give you guys updates in vlogs 
other things like that. I did make other videos whenever I decided to quit my job and talking about my previous job. So thank you everybody for all the support during this journey. I will be giving you guys the video of my future plans very soon. Sorry I couldn't do it in this video, but I just ran out of time. So I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.